Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening and welcome to the next episode of Build Your Own R2-D2. Now the parts in these two issues make up the dome, of course, shock horror, but there isn't that much to do in this video. So I am going for a title here. I am going for the shortest video ever. So without further ado, let's get started on the shortest video ever. So in this video, we start off with the parts that were left over from last time, which are these dome frame parts here. And then issue 15 gets more uh, frame parts like that. But issue 14 gets frame parts as well. But if you open it up and take out the frame parts, you'll see that we have these parts underneath, which I'm just gonna focus on first. So uh, let's tip them out, let's zoom in. Let's have a look at them. So these pieces here are the ankle decorations for R2-D2. These parts are not metal, they are plastic. As you can see, you've got the blue plastic on the back and then the silver spray painted uh, finish on this side. So make sure you don't scratch this, otherwise that blue paint will come through. So be careful with these parts. And what you do is you just attach these parts just like that. You put that part in there. Oh no, that's actually for the wrong side. Let's do it for the right side. There we go. So that part goes in there like that and it's nice and flush. You can see there along that side and it will look like that when it's all done. And to attach it, you just get one of the black screws that we got back in issue five and just tighten it up. So it looks like that. And that is the first piece done. And here is the second piece, which I went ahead and attached off camera. So you see it's screwed in there and it looks like that. And these are attached to the ankle part of the leg at a later date. So keep them safe until then. Moving back then, all the parts that we need for the framework for this dome. I'm just gonna get them all out of the packeting, packaging here. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this together right now. So here's the metal ring all done and this is how it goes together and very nice sturdy piece as well. It all fits together fantastically. Love it. Uh, so all that's uh, left to do is attach it to the dome, as you can see here. Uh, so uh, it's going to be a little fiddly because it does have the nut and screw system that we all know. So I'm just going to go off camera and do it now. And when I've done that, I'll be right back with you. And here it is all finished. Now it took me a while to work out how exactly to line up this metal part to the base of the dome we have so far. And what I found easiest is if you look for this piece here with the two holes, just like that, you put this little sticky out part in the hole next to it, and then everything else fits together. As you can see here, next to the screwed in parts, you have like little peg holes, uh, which really helps guide in the screws and the bolts uh, when you get to it. And that is it all finished, looking very, very nice, oops, indeed. And uh, yeah, you've come to the end of the shortest video ever. The dome is uh, ready for the next stage of it, uh, which will come in the next couple of issues. Well, next, probably five issues, six issues, who knows. So I hope you will join me for that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye.